Well, hi guys, welcome to the channel. It's Pat and Zero HR. And uh, yeah, it's, thanks for stopping by Ham Radio Tips and Trips. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through uh, what I use typically most often for my antenna setups for POTA activations. Now, I use a variety of antennas, if I'm honest, and I will use uh, NFED antennas with the 49 to one or the random wires with the nine to one transformers. Um, but most often I found that this simple uh, antenna setup, very affordable, has worked extremely well, the one I'm gonna show you, and uh, I can get it up very quickly and make contacts with just great reports from around the country. Um, so I'm gonna show you that real quick. Uh, it's a little chilly, it's about 30 degrees. You can see people ice fishing out here. I'm at Big Creek State Park, which is Kilo 2281. Um, yeah, but let's get into the antenna. This is a, a great option, I think, for a lot of guys. Uh, first off, this is a case that I found on Amazon. Um, I think it's for camera tripods, but you know, it's about $20 or something like that. Holds the entire antenna uh, in this bag. So very easy for me to I can, um, put it over my shoulder or whatever and, and uh, carry it out to an activation site if I need to. So I open this up. First thing I do is I pull out my radio wire. So I've got 12 radials that are about 17 feet each um, and they're in bundles of six. So uh, each one has a uh, ring terminal at the end and I will take this bundled uh, hunk of radio wire, silicone wire that's very flexible and uh, doesn't tangle very easily. So uh, this has just been perfect for radials. At first I was using uh, what came with the Wolf River coil system for radials and I found that tangled a lot and so this has just been fantastic. So then I can literally take this and the way I fold it up I uh, can unfold it just by flinging it out and then I'll spread those out here after a bit and do the same thing with the other bunch of six and uh, I find that this just works fantastic. This one got a little messy when I took it out of the bag here but um, I found that this has just been a, a fantastic way to get radials out very quickly, spread out, and I'll, I'll show you my method for untangling that in a second. Um, the next major component uh, is the way that it's going to mount it to the ground. So a couple options here for doing that. One is just this, uh, this is a landscaping spike that I bought at, I think, uh, Lowe's or Menards for 99 cents or something like that. And then this uh, mirror mount system uh, with the um, antenna mount on the top. So, and a, <coughs> a spot there for the PL259 to go on the bottom. That works great. It'll stab right into the ground. And then I can attach these radial wires to these uh, bolts that are on the side. So that's one method. But what I use more often is this tripod system with this hub that I got from Wolf River Coils. And so it came with the Wolf, Wolf River Coil system uh, that I purchased, but you can actually buy this separately if you look for it. It's called the Mega Tripod. So each of these aluminum rods are, I don't know, uh, 20 inches long or so. Um, and so what I do then is I take this, this ring terminal and I'll just put that over the end of that guy. And then there's thread thread that into the hub. Um, and this has worked out re really well. I do wish that it wasn't a, uh, a threaded system that you'd screwed in like this. Uh, and I might just be a little bit picky, but that time spent screwing that in, I feel is a little bit wasted. It would be nice if you just uh, slid it right into the slot and because it's not for a permanent uh, you know, installation where I really need to have it threaded in. But yeah, so this works out pretty well. So just thread that on like that. And then the third one here, go right in. And it is chilly, so my fingers are taking a little bit to get, get going here. Sorry, right-handed. Takes me a second to get going. 
So once I've got those guys in, um, next I simply attach the coax to the base of that hub system. And I typically do the over under method of coiling up coax. And the nice thing about that is when I'm done, I can just fling it toward where my radio is going to go. It uncoils, no tangles, and I'm ready to go. So that works great. Um, and then I'll attach this to the bottom of the hub. And I've seen guys add a, a right angle um, adapter there to avoid any issues, to kind of speed things up, or even the, uh, the slip-on connector. Um, but really this doesn't take too long. So I do that. Now, the next trick, something I've learned, um, and that is getting these radial wires untangled once they've been all coiled up and, and that sort of thing. So let me uh, let you zoom in on what I'm gonna show you with this. All right, so what I do to untangle these, and I always get that nut nice and snug on there before I go any further, make sure I'm getting a good contact. I developed this method of kind of combing through the radials to get them untangled quickly. So what I do is I put my fingers through like that so I get all six of them. Each finger gets a, a radial, uh, three on each hand, and I just start walking backwards. And this silicone wire just naturally untangles as I walk backwards. It works fantastic. So I just walk backwards like this, and each, each finger gets a radio. I can keep spreading them apart as I walk backwards. And there we go, just like that, everything's untangled and ready to go. I can lay them on the ground. Then I just fan them out so that they're evenly distributed. Until I've gone, and there's 12 of them, so it's kind of like same spacing you would have on a clock face. I dropped that one, but yeah. So get them all spread around 360 degrees. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the Wolf River coil. This is a fantastic coil. I have the platinum version, which is rated for higher power. I've used it. I've used it on typically 30 meters and 40 meters when my uh, mat, when my telescoping whip is just not long enough, um, and it works great. So it's relatively easy to tune. Uh, it takes a little getting used to, but once you've got it dialed in, it works fantastic. If I had a shorter whip, I would use this pretty much all the time. But this is a whip that I bought um, off of AliExpress. I think it was $17, $19, something like that. Took a few weeks to arrive, but boy, it's it's really performed well. And um, I would probably buy a second one. It takes this adapter uh, in order to make it, uh, you know, adapt to that 3 8 that we use on all the products that hams use today because this is uh, an M10 thread. So it's a M10 to 3 8 adapter. But let me show you um, how to get it set up and, and tuned in. So for 20 meters, which is the band I use the most, it's been extremely productive for me on POTA. Um, simply thread this in. And once that's tight, just go ahead and teles telescope that out. And I happen to know if I take all the sections out except for the last one and leave about four inches, usually the SWR is just about perfect 
for the CW portion of the band. If I ever want to go in the sideband portion of the band, just make it a little bit shorter. So let's go check the SWR and see where we wound up. All right, let's see where we wound up here. Um, go ahead and we'll do a sweep. And uh, there we go. And we can see we're tuned for 14060. Uh, really just hits that right in the sweet spot. I've done this enough times, I can just about get it dialed in by hand every time. Sometimes if there's a lot of trees around or other things, I'll detune the antenna. I'll get a different SWR value, but let's check what the meter says, 1.03 to one. So boy, I'll take that any day of the week. Um, and so now let's get on the air and see how it performs. Good to go. Twenty meters, fourteen oh six oh. Spotted on the network. Running about eighty watts. All right, let's see how fast we can get this thing packed up. Ready, go. All right, my radial method, watch this. I'm just gonna wrap around my finger, bunch it up in my fist. Wrap around my finger, bunch it up in my fist. If I do that enough times, wrap in my finger, bunch in my fist, just do that over and over, I kind of wad it into my fist. And if I wad it into my fist, it just takes a, a little bit. And it looks like kind of a mess when I'm done, all right? But what that allows me to do is, I can find it, I grab this ring terminal when I take it out of the bag. And if I grab that ring terminal like this and hold on to it, I can just launch all the radials like that. And in a second, I've got it out and ready to go. So it really works great. Just wrap it in my finger, bunch it in my fist. Wrap it, bunch it, wrap it, bunch it, wrap it, bunch it, wrap it, bunch it. So it just takes a little bit of time 
it takes almost no time to get it packed up and ready to go and boy to deploy it is just fast and hassle-free so this is my quirky method of bunching radials and storing them for next time I've never really seen anybody else do that. I know there's a lot of fancier wire wrapping methods that people like to use, winders and everything else, but for me, it just works very quickly. And I am able to get a bunch that fits in a tight space. And boy, the fun part is deploying it the next time you go to use it. So, so that's my, my quirky radial method. I suppose the only thing left to show you is how to wrap the, co the coax. So I'll go ahead and do that too, just so you can see it. All right, so this is my coax wrapping method. Let's get it all. Stand out. So I've got coax all over the ground. And what I do is I just kind of get a link like that and make a loop. And on the next one, I wrap it from underneath, make a loop going the other way. And the coax is really cold right now, so it's a little stiff, but it still allows me to get a tangle-free wrap. So again, it's grab it from underneath, pull it in, grab the top one, just like a normal loop, underneath for the next one, back and forth like that, pop, underneath, so this over-under method allows me to get the coax ready to go. So if I want a rapid deployment the next time, all I really have to do is grab one of the connectors and I can fling this thing out just like this, right to my radio from the antenna and I'm ready to go. So, you know, that, that really makes a, a fast tangle free deployment. Um, that really helps. So if I'm in a hurry, the last thing I want to be doing is fighting a messed up coax that has got knots in it and uh, probably takes an extra 15 minutes to untangle. That's the last thing I want to do. Besides that, I think it's hard on the coax. So, um, so this works great. So take the time to do this over under method and you'll find that it, it really speeds things up for your deployments and uh, allows you to pack things nicely as well. So with that, a, a very chilly 30 degree activation here, and we're gonna pack up and say 73. I think the ice fish, fishing folks are still out there, but, but I'm going home and warming up. So 73 guys.